Gentlemen, what the fuck is poppin'? It is your boy Andrew Wins back with another video. We are going to get into some NBA 2K23 news, man. Before we get into it, leave a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff, and let's get straight into the banger, bro. So, starting off with basic news, we found out a few weeks ago the Legend cover, the Standard cover, and the Championship cover. Michael Jordan, the Legend cover athlete for NBA 2K23. Devin Booker, the Standard Edition, and the Michael Jordan signed Championship Edition jersey for the Championship Edition of the game, man. So, the prices are going to be 150 for this version right here. 70 for the Devin Booker and a hundred dollars for the regular legend edition. Let me know what you guys think about that man I think it's a W um, the $150 edition. It gives you NBA League Pass for a whole year now I don't know about y'all, but that is a fucking W because NBA League Pass is like hundred and fifty or hundred and eighty dollars by itself So you're getting it for basically fifty dollars because it'd be like getting the legend edition and then getting that as well So if you guys watch NBA basketball, it does really make sense to get that. I think it's a big W moving on a very tragic story right here, man. 99 injury overall. Anthony Davis, my boy Anthony Day to Day Davis, he finally got a fucking good card, bro. I'm so excited. This is exactly what we need, bro. I also need a 99 overall Henny Smith, and I'm just gonna be, I'm gonna be solid, bro. I'm not gonna cap. I'm obviously just fucking kidding, bro. This guy just needs to stay healthy. I'm a Lakers fan, and I'm sick and tired of his bullshit. But I did see that tweet, and I thought it was pretty funny. But we're actually gonna get into some gameplay, bro. So. The first thing that NBA tweeted, well, it wasn't NBA, it was 2K Intel and a bunch of other reputable sources for Twitter on 2K. Um, this one says the game has changed. The new evolution of ultra real gameplay has arrived on, ne on new gen with NBA 2K23. New ways to attack off the dribble and at the rim are matched against an intuitive one-on-one -on -one positional shading system to unlock even more control in the most authentic experience yet. So that sounds like good news to me, man. That's basically telling me that there's going to be one-on-one, -on -one, more animations, you're going to have more control over your player, and it's an ISO player that puts a smile on my face man I really hope that this year is going to be about not about ISO but it's just gonna really cater to ISO players man but moving on we got a screenshot that has been leaked this is the NBA 2k 23 jump shot meter let me know what you guys think of it man Twitter was going crazy shitting on the meter thinking it looked corny in my opinion it's reminiscent of 2k 18 through 20 the shot meter that was in that game and most of y'all don't even use meter so what are you complaining about bro like dead ass like be honest do you use the jump shot meter let me know in the comments below i haven't touched the meter since it was last used in 2k19 that was the last time i had my meter on and that was because you couldn't take off your meter in 2k19 they just added that in 20 which is only three years ago so honestly people complaining about that for no reason they kind of goofy for real i'm not going to cap but the meter looks pretty good to me man the little green at the top it's definitely a dope little thing you know it's nothing too crazy i'm vibing with it i think it's going to be cool and yeah i think it just looks overall pretty clean so like i said let me know what you guys think about the jump shot meter also some you know you guys see a little bit of the player models and getting into more news there is also a video that i'm not going to play because i can't get access to it right now of nba 2k 23 gameplay it is of course the classic ghetto footage we all know about the ghetto footage baby if you've been wait playing since 2k 14 remember when the ps4 was being leaked bro the ghetto footage was on fleek bro i promise you it was just amazing ghetto footage is obviously classic you feel me so we had like 2k 14 footage so obviously Obviously, you know, 2K23 you had a bunch of ghetto footage and it's like just shitty quality, like on the, on a camera. I don't know why these motherfuckers can't hold their phone straight, bro. You got an iPhone 13 with God level camera quality and you're telling me you can't hold the phone straight enough to get a good quality video. It is what it is. I'm not going to complain. Gameplay is gameplay. And we know how 2K is, man. 2K takes forever to launch anything that is, you know, slightly a peek at gameplay like they're not going to release none of that shit until like two weeks before the game cam comes out but it's available for pre-order you know what i mean like 2k is just like that last year 2k i think they released their first gameplay trailer in august like middle to late august when 2k was coming out like september 8th so we had like two weeks of looking at gameplay and i mean honestly i'm hoping for this year that we actually get a beta because I think a beta is necessary, man. I'm not gonna lie. I really think that we need a beta. Every game, bro. Literally every game has a fucking beta. Except for 2K. 2K is one of the only games that, you know, you really don't get a beta. We had, like, two or three betas, I think, ever. I think it was 2K17 beta, which wasn't even a beta. You played my career. It was some corny shit. And then we had 2K... 20 2k20 2k20 had a beta and 2k20's beta was mainly just for the build system you got to practice in the my court with like random players and then they took out all those dribble moves so people practice for no reason i remember g-man being tight about that but uh yeah this video is going to be also like you know i just spoke about the news right now and now we're going to get into kind of an nba 2k23 wish list man i spoke briefly about this in my last video but uh, i'm gonna get more into it right now so this is one of the things that i really want to see these are the things that i want to see in 2k23 and you know there's going to be gameplay there's going to be rewards 
rewards and just features overall in the game i'm gonna start off with just simple simple things that i feel like need to make it into the game so in terms of like the quality of the gameplay or just the features in the game so let's do that first for me personally man i really want to see 2k19's builder system make a return let me know what you guys think about that man for those of you who played 2k19 and 2k20 because people say that 2k20 is like the greatest 2k of all time which i just don't agree i think it's because of the pandemic that everybody just sat at home had nothing better to do fortnite was getting kind of stale so they were like fuck it we're gonna play 2k20 2k20 was not that good of a 2k guys i promise you it was not it's not what you remember it to be it's better than 21 i'll give you that much it is way better than 21 it is way better than 18 and and i think it's better than 17 but it is not a really good 2k bro it's pretty average too below average but the builder system that they added, that was the first time they added the pie charts. And since that year, bro, it has honestly gotten worse. I remember when the community, including myself, we wanted free build, bro, and we got it. And in 21, it was a disaster. The glitch power forward build, every single person on next gen had a fucking offensive threat six foot seven or six foot eight power forward build, bro. If you didn't have it, you were literally at a complete disadvantage because that build got like 80 badges. You had every stat. You were literally Kevin Durant and you had like 80 Hall of Fame badges. Like it was wild, bro. It was just too super unfair the competition was the everybody played the same it just wasn't fun bro it wasn't fun on 2k22 on 2k21 current gen they had they got rid of some of the pie charts they nerfed the slashing playmaker uh they nerfed the two-way playmaker or two-way slashing whatever the hell that shit was called and everybody was just on a play shot and guess what for 22 the same shit man the free build system is broken you guys can see my six seven build curry sliding pulling in this motherfucker's face you know i should not be able to do all this at a six seven i can dunk on people i have a 93 ball i have a 90 ball handle a 90 driving dunk max badges hall of fame shooting hall of fame defensive hall of fame playmaking like it's absurd bro it's just not something that's realistic in my opinion i guess you could say it is realistic because players can play all around but in 2k bro it just makes the game boring because everybody has the same builds running around because yeah we have a free build system but people make the same exact free build you know what i mean like everybody makes a dominant build because why wouldn't you why would you go out of your way to make a build that has a some sort of big disadvantage it just doesn't make sense and so i'm kind of tired of that man i think the 2k19 build system was the best balanced build system of all time we had archetypes the dual archetypes were amazing you pick between two different ones there was so much versatility in that game man i made i'm gonna make a tiktok about it as well bro the 2k19 builder was just classic like honestly that dual archetype system uh, archetype system was introduced in 16 i believe but really implemented and evolved in 19 and i think that was the peak of 2k in terms of build quality and just versatility on the game man everybody had a different build and it was great the second thing i want to see come back this is a gameplay one and everybody knows me i'm a you know dribble head i love to iso we need 2k19 actually 2k16 to 19 dribble moves back i am tired of this new era of dribbling bro it is so boring and lame everybody just goes left right zigzags they do these stupid hezzies left right dribbling it is just so boring tight handles needs to be out of the game that's another unpopular opinion and i don't care that badge is literally so broken and unnecessary it took ankle breaker's position to the point where ankle breaker is basically a useless badge let me know what you guys think about the things i just said man be sure to leave a like comment sub all that good stuff and as nba 2k23 news comes out i will be sure to post more content man hope you guys enjoy the video i'll catch you on the next one peace